Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And if this is not your first time here, welcome back. I am so happy to see so much support that you guys have been giving me on this newly created channel. Today I wanted to share with you some of the fragrances that I love wearing for the holidays, especially for Christmas. And Christmas and New Year, this is the time to bring out the essence of your amber magical joy. This captures the essence of festivities. I think that all of these fragrances that I'm going to share with you are unisex and can be worn by anyone. They are just truly the best of my best for the holidays. So if that's what you're interested in, then stay tuned. This lineup is the best fragrances for the holiday season. Hi guys, my name is Mika and here on my channel, I do all things fragrance. I love fragrances, but today I'm going to share with you my favorites that I love to wear for the holiday season, especially for Christmas. And we know that Christmas is just right around the corner. So before we get started, I want to ask you guys, I'm interested in the fragrance Ginger Biscuit by Jo Malone. I've heard so many great things about it. I think I might like it because it's slightly sweet. It has that warm, luxurious spice vanilla. I do like ginger. Um, it's, I've heard a lot of people say that it smells like a really good gingerbread cookie um, with a creamy butteriness to it paired with like a nutmeg. I know it's limited edition, so if I'm going to get it, I do have to act fast. But please tell me in the comments if you have this. Do you think that I'll enjoy it? And what do you like most about it? It is just so pretty. The bottle is, is gorgeous. And I, I'm just curious. And I really wish that I could sample it before it's gone bye-bye. So please help me out. And in the comments, let me know if you have it. And that is uh, Ginger Biscuit by Jo Malone. All right, guys, let me start with my first one on my uh, best fragrances for the holiday lineup. So the first one on the list is L'Eau de Vire by Frederick Mall. And I believe this means winter water. Guys, I love this. This is a gorgeous winter scent. It is for those that don't want to be loud and in your face. It just has a reminiscent of falling snow. Like I said, I believe the name of it is called Winter Water. And I love it. This is a second skin. It smells like your skin, but better. If you like those type of fragrances, you will love this. And you can't go wrong with Frederick Mall. Everything that I've smelled from this house, I love. You guys know I love Portrait of a Lady. I love Carnal Flower. I love Musk Ravager. But this one here... Oh, this is gorgeous. It is for those who want to just be light, airy, not be on the dark side. And I think it is not talked about enough. This is a hidden gem to me. And it smells good on any chemistry, male, female, gorgeous. So the first one here is Lord de Vier, And this is by Frederick Mall. And it is for those who want to be loud in a subtle kind of way. It is long lasting. It's going to leave a scent trail, but it's not going to be one of those bodacious, in your face fragrances. This is the quiet, powerful punch. There you go, guys. The next one here, and I featured this on my channel before. But this is La Petite Robe Noir um, Black Perfecto by Guerlain. I love this. This is something that I love to wear for the holidays. I think it is that licorice in there. It's that leather scent. This is for those badass girls who wants to wear their leather for the holidays. Pull out your black leather boots, your black leather pants, or your skirt. And 
Also for those who just want to wear a little black dress, this is going to be the fragrance for you. I love this. It has that almond, the cherry, the licorice. The licorice is not obnoxious. You will love this. It just gives this fragrance that essence that it needs. It is dark. It is mysterious. Oh, this is so good. I love this. I picture this wearing a black leather jacket, wearing a black dress with some booties and a red lippy, red fingernail polish, and you're on the go for a night out. Whether you're wearing this for New Year's Eve or a Christmas party, this is the go-to for that. Once again, so this is La Petite Robe Noir, and this is Black Perfecto by Guerlain. The next one, I don't have a full-size bottle of it, and I really don't need it, um, mainly because I have another fragrance that's just like this one, but I want to give you some options. So this one here is Ojean by Parfums de Marly, and I'll also put a picture up here in the corner. Um, I love this. This is going to be your apple pie, sweet apple pie. And I pull this one out because so many people which is the next one on the list, don't like Angel Share. And if you're one of those individuals, then get your nose on Ojan. You may like it better. Um, Ojan to me is, it's a standout that makes it shine. It's not as loud as Angel Share. And it has the hints of the apple scent. Um, the sweetness is here, but it's not cloying. And I think that's why so many people prefer this over Angel Share. So once again, just to give you an option where you want to be lighter on the sweetness and not smell like a apple pie. Some of the guys out there don't really want to go out smelling like Granny Smith apples and uh, apple baked streusel, which I get it. Um, and this is for you if, if that is right up your alley. But again, um, I wanted to bring out Angel Share. I like Angel Share, especially for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. It is just screams festivities to me. And this is Angel Share by Killian. And this is a more boozier, um, forward apple sweetness. It smells like an apple pie or an apple streusel. Um, I just love this. It's unisex. It can be worn in any type of the season. Um, I actually like it for winter and I attach this scent memory to the last Christmas. Um, I was late to the party on Angel Share, so I didn't quite get this when it was the hype and I got it later on. And then when I did wear it, it was Christmas of 2022. And so this fragrance is associated with those scent memories of uh, Christmas from last year. I will always like this for the holidays only because of that apple, the cinnamon, the booze. It's just right for the right occasion. So once again, this is Angel Share by Killian. All right, so the next one here is a fragrance that I haven't mentioned. I've had it for a while, but um, I think this is the right time to wear it. And this is Triumph of Bacchus by Argos Fragrances. It's great for special occasions. It is luxurious in a bottle. As you can see, this bottle is really pretty um, with the art on the front. And this here is Peach, a creamy vanilla, saffron, tobacco, rum. Oh, it's just the smoothness in this fragrance is what makes me love this. It is so smooth and I think it stands out in colder weather. Others compare this to a toned down version of Red Tobacco by Mancera. I don't have that, um, but I have put my nose on it and Red tobacco is just obnoxious to me. I'm sorry. I don't know how this would be compared to that. Um, but guys, if, if that's what you smell, then great. I don't. Um, this is just smoothness and luxurious where red tobacco is more synthetic to me. Um, 
I really like the smooth fruitiness of this fragrance. It has peach in it, but it's not a bodacious fruity peach in here. It's just smooth. Just the smooth fruity undertones in here that is gorgeous. Blended with that tobacco just makes it just smooth. I love this on a man. Um, this is gorgeous on a male. For some reason, I think their chemistry brings out the creaminess of the vanilla and the rum, whereas a woman, I think it brings out more of that fruitiness and you smell more of the peach, but on a guy, that rum and the tobacco and the saffron, oh, that's just chef's kiss. So once again, this is Triumph of Bacchus by um, Argos Fragrances and has this gorgeous bottle. All right, so just like the first one, I like real subtle fragrances, loud but subtle. And I also like my bodacious fragrances. And this one here is another subtle one. And this is Soleil Nage by Tom Ford. And this here just reminds me of just a little winter light floral. Um, it it's It's a beauty that just packs a punch without being heavy. And I love this in the colder weather, especially when I'm craving a light floral. And I think it's great for all seasons, but this shines in the winter time. I like this most of all because I really don't feel that it's loud, but I get compliments galore. I mean, after I've worn it for a while, I get people who are like, what are you wearing? And I literally can't smell it anymore. So that is great to me when you can't smell it, but others still can and you're getting compliments galore. So this one here, I think it's the labdanum. It is the vanilla. It gives it that, that depth that you need for winter fragrance, but the light florals in the background, but I think most of all, it's the carrot seeds in here. Um, I think that's what make it so unique. But this is gorgeous in the winter. And I think it is great for, you know, going Christmas shopping um, or even after Christmas. We normally go to the movies and this would be great to wear for the movies after Christmas dinner. So this is Soleil Neige by Tom Ford. This next one is controversial. A lot of people hate it and I get it. Um, they smell the burning smell in it. Um, a lot of people say that it is just obnoxious. It's annoying. Their skin chemistry doesn't jive with it. And I understand that. But for me, this works so well on my, on my skin. And Lune Feline by Artelier Desors. And this one here has the beautiful flakes in the bottle, as you can see here. I get it, it's not for everyone, but this is right on time for this season. It's the cardamom and the cinnamon in here that makes me fall in love with this. It is long lasting, it packs a punch. I don't have to I don't have to overspray this. It is one of those where I could go one, two, three, no more than four or five sprays, and I can smell it all day. But it has extremely great performance and it has really good projection and i'm so sorry for those of you who don't like this but i get it i can i can see how you feel that it smells like burning tires um, but i don't get that i get more of the cardamom and the vanilla so once again this is lune feline by artillier de ors this next one here i just think this is so gorgeous I want them to bring back the old bottles. I'm not a big fan of the, the newer bottles. And this here is Angelique Noir by Guerlain. And this is the most beautiful, luxurious, gorgeous vanilla. And it is a green vanilla. I do want to warn you that when you first spray it, you're going to get the greenness off top. And you wait a while and let that opening settle down and then you're going to get the most beautiful vanilla every time i wear this i just i cannot help myself i i smell damn good when i'm wearing this i get whiffs of it all day long and it's like when a breeze come and you smell it and you're like oh my god that's me
<laughs> that is me smelling that good. Oh, this is the most beautiful vanilla. Gerlon, please bring back the older bottles. The older bottles are shaped like this. And it has the Guerlain at the bottom. And then it has the Angelique Noir. This bottle is iconic to me. And when I use this up, am I going to be forced to get the newer bottle? Absolutely. But I really wish they would bring, that, bring back the older bottle. Once again, this here is that vanilla and the resinous um, dry down. It, it just... It just screams, it just screams uniqueness. This is very unique. I have not found another vanilla that can top Guerlain's. That goes with Angelique Noir, that goes with Spirit Cheese Double Vanille. They have this DNA with their vanilla that nobody has copied or can copy, and it makes it so unique. So, once again, this is Angelique Noir by Guerlain. While we're talking about Guerlain, I may as well go to the next one that I love to wear for the holidays. And this one here is Gourmand Coquin. And this is also by Guerlain. And this is my go-to chocolate fragrance. Again, this is in the older bottle. The newer bottles are not shaped like this. Um, it is that honey, I think it's a honey, honey bee bottle. I'm not sure. I just know I don't like it and I prefer the traditional older bottles but this here is cacao rum vanilla it has the beautiful spices but most of all I just get I just get chocolate it's that chocolate in here and when the chocolate dries down it just it just lays on your skin and it becomes so creamy with your chemistry and it this lasts all day for me I don't have to touch up I do think that I do think that the older bottles have a different formulation they say they haven't reformulated but I don't know I I don't know I I like this better I think it lasts longer and the chocolate in here is just more prevalent in the older bottle than in the newer bottle. I definitely feel that it is worth the price point if you can find it in this bottle. Um, but if not, I get it. Um, you know, the newer bottles are fine as well. They're also pricey, but the older bottles, um, they are, you know, they, they do cost more. This here is Gourmand Coquine by Guerlain. Staying with the chocolate cacao, this one here is another fragrance that I need to wear more, but I, I find myself only bringing this out during the holiday season. And this here is Angel Muse by Mugler. And I think one of the reasons why I don't wear this as much is because most of the time the bottle is laying down because it doesn't sit up. And I overlook it. I miss it. It's like out of sight, out of mind. Um, but I have found... Um, this stand so if you can get your hands on it it looks like this and it's just hard to stay up in this contraption especially if you have a large collection um, but this kind of helps me uh, keep it from laying down where I can see it speaking of this fragrance this was created by one of my favorite perfumers Quentin Beach and it is reminiscent of Nutella if you're familiar with the Nutella um, spread, this is what this smells like to me. A Nutella vanilla cookie. And the sillage and longevity is grand, but it's soft after it dries down. It's just so delicious. And I love the vetiver in here. I can smell the vetiver with the blend of the vanilla as well as the hazelnut. This here is just gorgeous. I'm going to make a mental note to wear this more. But again, this is Angel Muse by Mugler. And bottle looks like this with the pretty star in the front. So this next fragrance, I think that it's very hard to find. And if you do find it, I believe the bottle is blue. It's no longer this gold and 
um, red color, but this is Santal Carmen by um, Atelier Cologne. And I know you can find these overseas and it's kind of harder to find in the U.S., but this here is such a comforting, sweet sandalwood scent. I love wearing this in the winter, especially for Christmas, um, around New Year's. And this is, this is the go-to sandalwood for the holidays. You have to love sandalwood to enjoy this fragrance because it is one of those sandalwoods that is not light. It is out there. It's forward. And I love it. I think it lasts on me 12 plus hours. Um, as a matter of fact, I've even washed and had a shower and I can still smell reminiscence of this fragrance. Um, but I love this. This is gorgeous. And if you can get your hands on it, try to find this particular bottle with the gold and the red. Don't know if it's been reformulated. I just like this bottle better. So that's Santel Carmine by Atelier Cologne. The next one here is a love or hate. Um, some people hate it. Some people love it. I happen to be one of those individuals who love it. And this one here is Rouge Smoking by BDK. I will admit it does not last long. But for the time that I do get with this, which is about four hours, I enjoy it because it smells like a creamy root beer um, soda to me. Or it may smell like a cherry Coca-Cola. I think it's a root beer um, that I get off top. And this is just gorgeous. Like if you had a handful of Red Hots and you were drinking your uh, and you're drinking your root beer, this is Rouge Smoking. I do admit that um, you don't get very much cherry in here. It's mainly vanilla, um, but that cherry Coke root beer is unique to me. I don't know if there is another fragrance out here that has that type of smell. And that's one of the reasons why I love it. I don't wear this for something that's going to last on me all day. I mainly wear this around the house when I'm just chilling, have a sweater on, it's cozy, and I'm not expecting this to just perform. This is something that is just going to just be in the background and just, just give me the enjoyment for the minimal hours that I'm going to get from it. So this here is Rouge Smoking by BDK. The next one here is um, a fragrance I've never mentioned. I don't hear too many people talking about this, but this is when I'm feeling like I want to um, have my island vibe. It gives me the tiari flower, the um, tuberose, the coconut, and what I'm talking about is Healy by Widian. I bring this out when I want to have something more tropical but more on the dress-up side. It gives you the tiari flower, tuberose, jasmine, coconut. Um, it has pink pepper, tobacco, but for me this is the creamy coconut, the tiari flower, and it's just elegant. I wear this dressed up. This to me is not something I would wear very casually. And it's gorgeous for a cold winter night. It leaves a stunning scent trail and the spices in here aren't too spicy. And I think it's the coconut in here and the tiari flower that kind of makes everything so creamy and calming. But this here is my go-to when I'm feeling more of a you know, an island vibe and I'm dressed up and I want to go out and this here is my go-to and this is Healy by Widian. Last all day too. So that concludes my list for what to wear for the holidays. Let me know which one on my list you would choose for any one of the holidays coming up. Christmas, New Year's, which one? If you have any on your list that I didn't mention, please share with me. I am a guinea pig for always putting my nose on things that I don't have in my collection that somebody would recommend. Hey, it doesn't hurt to get your nose on it and sniff it. Tis the season. Enjoy your family and enjoy your friends. And most of all, have a safe and happy holiday. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. That is what helps my channel to grow. 
Please comment and let me know what you will be wearing for these upcoming holidays. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.